Give us an update here. Um, I just finished got, getting my lights. I think I gotta take care of my switch though, because I wired my switch up with the 12 volt. And then I used the car charger that I took apart and uh, soldered on, pretty much soldered it in between the switch and then the LEDs in there to give it. Uh, and then I added a resistor for overall 4 volts going to the LEDs. But I've got 12 going to the switch and it's a lot brighter. But, um, yeah, I think it came out pretty neat. Got my base knob here. Oh shit, I got my base knob turned down. Is it even hooked up? Oh no, it ain't hooked up. I'm alright then. What did I say? I haven't plugged into the amp yet. But, um, yeah, that's looking pretty sweet. Got my setup here. Got the CVRs right here. I'll turn it up a little bit here. Then I'll go to the trunk. Uh, good pound. Okay. The Tech 9 SPO version of so dope. Oh, let's see if I can get the damn truck. Got my CVR here, or my CVX, in a box I made. It's a three and a half foot. Got this up. I'm running the 312. Kickers are kickers are 400, 400 RMS and 800 max, and this is a 750 RMS max. So this is about almost the size of both of those CVRs. Because of power handling. Like I got it. Box is pretty sturdy. Just got a brace down there at the bottom. Good. No air leaks. Think about painting it, but I don't know why. Paint. Yeah, I got that, and um, about it. Need a. What I got left to do is just do some power testing. Got me clamp meter. Got to do. Uh, I did one short little burst last night, and I got 650, which ain't too terrible considering I'm running. Under the recommended impedance, which should give you more power, but it also will throw the amp in to protect quicker too. So sometimes you can, sometimes you can get more power. But but 650 watts without clipping, I mean that was, that was pretty good. Divided between the three subs, it, that was soundproof and done on the car too. I've had trunk lid, I've done the the, the trunk and then the, the back doors and then the rear dash. I got the DJ ring. Dad bitch right there, DJ Simon. Uh, I got a lot of music. Right now I'm gonna open up my tone generator and then uh, we'll do a 40, 40 or 45 hertz. And now for uh, a power test. Now there's four things according to Ohm's law, you know, and such. You need uh, two out of four factors to measure wattage or power output. You know, including the watch itself is one of the four. But you have um, your voltage, AC voltage, which carries the sound signal from your amp. You have ohms, which is the resistance of your speaker itself or whatever load you're running to. You have um, AC ohm and your amperage, your current draw. Now, you could use two out of three of those, either two out of three, to measure your wattage. Uh, the fourth factor being wattage, if you wanted to measure any other 
or the three, the wattage makes up the fourth, but wattage is your measure of power, mate, your unit of power mate for, for electricity or sound, whatever. And we're going to use, today we're going to use AC voltage with the multimeter, and then uh, I got me a cheap little clamp meter here to test the current draw. And uh, voltage multiplied by the current draw will give you the watts. Now to do it the other way around, if you uh, if you had something to measure the running impedance, if you use it a test tone, and like say you had a clamp that had to measure the impedance, and you know you had a, a 20 volts AC, and then your impedance was two and a half ohm, then you would uh, you would square your voltage. Yeah, this voltage squared divided by your impedance, I believe. Yeah, and then that would give you your watts power. Pretty sure. I don't know. So let's just crank this up. I got the I got my my tone generator, my frequency generator on my phone. So I'm just gonna turn up the stereo. Uh, it's probably gonna get pretty loud. Uh, my my door speakers will probably clip first. Here, let me fade them to the rear a little bit. I need a little bit more juice. I can turn it up a little bit more if I fade them to the rear. A little bit. No, I already did actually. I'll do another one. So that way I don't worry about blowing my front door speakers. I'm running through the factory amp, and I just need to hook it up to this itself, but this is probably got more power than a factory amp does. It's V-Drive. You have the V-Drive Alpine, fucking 27, 26, 27 watts or mass per channel. At four. Yeah, I hook my subs up. I hit my CVRs and two ohms, and those things bump pretty good on the, just on the head unit. All right, I'll shut up. We'll do a power test. I'll crank this bitch up here. like that's my limit which looks like 30 amp or 20 amps and 30 volts which it did uh, give you an even 600 I don't even have to do the math on that one um, I didn't want to push it any higher than that I, I probably could have I think I think it was stopping right there that's probably my power limitations uh, I'm on stock electrical but uh, there you go that's an actual power test the power acoustic 2500 impedance. I think I'm running with the three subs hooked together and the wiring. I tested uh, over one ohm, like 1.2 at the amp or something. 1.2 or 1.3 is what I got at the amp. I don't know. I could I could try it right now. I could shut it off right now and then. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna get a pretty high impedance because after you get done running your subs, especially if they got ran at all, if your coils are warm, it'll throw off your your, your uh, Resting impedance. Yeah, like right now, that's what you know. They're bouncing around quite a bit, just all together. If there's any movement, you know, your your subwoofers they have to be cooled down and they have to be perfectly still. Like I could blow on one of them. I I could blow from here, and just the just that little bit of air will will make the numbers jump. Yeah, they're starting to settle down. I'd have to wait a few minutes, 10 minutes or so, and then recheck it again to get a, their actual rest impedance. But see, you can't use the resting impedance to measure power because, you know, when you're playing music, you know, even with the test tone, like running the test tone on here, turn this back on, uh, you'll see the impedance change with the power. Well, this one, this one didn't get very good at reading it in real time. It'll probably go out. Yeah. I won't read and beat it. I'll try this one though. I don't know about, I haven't even tried this one yet. connected probably on just the regular impedance I think that's diode testing yeah I don't think anything's gonna work so 
and it's both AC either way. But that one might work. So the clamp only works on the amp draw. Alright, that damn test tones are annoying.